leaf and its structure. Most of you would have drawn a leaf somewhat similar to this leaf here. This simple drawing says a lot about the shape and structure of a leaf. The surface of a leaf is flat and is called the leaf blade or lamina. It is green in color due to the presence of chlorophyll. The large lamina allows to the leaf to absorb sunlight, water and air for the plant. Now let us use a magnifying glass to look closer at this leaf. Can you see a thick line running through the center? This is the main vein or midrib of the leaf. You can also see many smaller veins originating from the main vein. Veins help to carry water, minerals and food up and down the leaf. The main vein extends into the stalk that helps to attach the leaf to the stem. It helps to conduct water and food between the leaf and the stem. If we look at the leaf under a microscope, we will see numerous tiny pores on the lamina. These pores or openings are called stomata. They are present in large numbers on the lower surface of the leaf. Stomata help in exchange of gases with the environment. In photosynthesis, carbon dioxide enters the leaf and oxygen goes out. The leaves are arranged on the stem in a specific way so that they can absorb the maximum amount of sunlight for photosynthesis. The arrangement of leaves on the stem of a plant is called phyllotaxy. When each leaf arises from a separate node on the stem, the leaves are said to be arranged in an alternate manner. When two leaves arise from a single node but in the opposite direction, they are said to be arranged in an opposite manner. Sometimes more than two leaves arise from the same node and wrap around the stem. The arrangement is called a whirl. Isn't it amazing to see how well planned the leaf structure is?